Hello again, dear kids. And today we have like our stories vocabulary. So let's know the vocabularies or the new vocabularies of our selection seeker of knowledge. The first word which we have in our selection guys, ancient. And this word is an adjective, it's ancient. And it means of times long past, of times long past. When you talk about something happened in a long past, so especially ruins and uh, different like places, so we say ancient, it's an, ange it's an adjective. We say that an ancient building, for example. After that, the word link. And this word, it's a noun. And it means anything that it joins or connects as a loop of a chain does. So we call it like link, anything that it joins or connects as a loop of a chain does. Number three, scholars, scholars. This word is a noun, and it means learned people, people having much knowledge. Scholars mean learned people, people having much knowledge. We call them like scholars. Seeker, seeker, the word number four, seeker, and it's a noun. This word means one who tries to find one who searches so seeker means one who tries to find one who searches word number five temple temple this word is a noun and it means building used for the service or worship of god or gods Building used for the service or worship of God or gods. We call it like temple. Word number six. It's translate. Translate. This word is a verb. And it means to change from one language into another. To change from one language into another. We call it like translate. Word number seven, it's triumph. Triumph. This word is a noun and it means victory or success. Victory or success, triumph. And don't forget guys that we pronounce the pH as like diphthongs as fast sound. The next word and the last one, number eight is uncover. Uncover. And this word is a verb. And it means to make known, reveal, expose. So to make known, reveal, or expose, so this word, uncover, and it's a verb. These are the eight vocabularies of our selection speaker of knowledge. After that, already you have, guys, a dictionary at the end of the book, which starts with page 478. And don't forget that this semester, we start with uh, the book uh, uh, 4.2, guys. Question of the week. How can knowing another language create understanding? So, this is the answer. How can or how language can create like understanding? or help you to understand.
So as we know, the language is the culture of uh, the countries. So what is the help of uh, that language? Ways to communicate, converse, motion, publish, intellectual debate, purposes, inform, represent ideas, understand the past, instruct types of language, sign language, braille, ancient languages, features, symbols, pictures, letters, words, people, scholar, scientists, teachers. So this is the answer. So if we want to know the main elements of that answer, of that question, so ways to communicate, how do we communicate with the others and purposes here, types of language, features, and people. Thanks a lot, guys. Hope you understand the vocabularies of our selection. Goodbye.